What's up guys, Fury TV here, and we're back with another episode of Poker Hands. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily oh, you're right, basis. On break, I was saying they're actually playing for second because Sean Deeb's going to come first. I don't know if you know that, but Sean Deeb is going to come first. And everyone's just playing for a second. Is, it, is this why Dave's coming up to me and saying, Henry, who's in the commentary booth? <laughs> I'm getting tons of messages from the family back home that the commentator oh, loves me. That's exactly why. Reigning world champion Espin Jorstad. Eight big blinds announces 500k effectively jamming now. This is a new trend, especially on the high roller scene. And a lot of people have been asking why players kind of move all in for or raise for half of their sets. You know, you know the reasons, Gary? No, but I hate it. <laughs> Tell me. Well, the reason being is that because it's big blind anti first, if someone has a calling hand, mm -hmm. like say someone has, has kings or jacks, they can just click call, check it down, check it down. It's actually advantageous to the the bigger stacks to just call the shorter stacks right. rather than putting them all in. Okay. Because then the next hand, if they do win, and the short stack is down to say four big blinds, they can just jam and. Good luck, Good luck gentlemen. Wayne Huang just got three outed from Julian Martini. Does have the best hand yet again. It's somehow showing Espen as the favorite. Thing with these lights. Yeah, folded cards Wait taken into consideration. Like That's why Run good factor? Does that does the, the equity well, the consider how good or bad? Well, yeah, I mean, if you win the main event, like, you know. Ace of Clubs, it's Looking for a king or a queen to stay in this tournament. Wow. King in the window. <laughs> wow. Two clubs behind. That, ladies and gents, is how you win main events. It really is king high flop as well as a king high flush draw for the main event champion. JD Sports on the turn. A couple of more. One more. Uh, one more. Aspin, come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one needs an ace or a jack. There is not a club to score the knockout. Can he find it? Six of spades rolls off. And the man from Norway. Rolls on, finds the double up, 2.8 big blind, sorry, six sub-20 big blind stacks. 482,000 for first. Sean Deeb, yeah. the only player with some real breathing room. Everyone else kind of handcuffed at the moment. As he picks up the boys. Pocket aces, pocket 14s, rockets, the pointer sisters, whatever you want to call him. Heath has got him. And he's raising them one up to 320,000. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Kings for the world champion. Did the comms hear that? Henry's heart just broke into a million little pieces. I actually don't have a piece, so... You no, know, no, just because he's your boy. Aspen can, you know, rock. <laughs> bricks, bricks all the tournaments. Uh, EPT that I had a piece of, and the final table was this one, so, you know. I uh, swapped 3% with him, I just didn't write it down. Okay. Let's see what Aspen comes with here. I think he's just going to rip it in. I don't think we do much trapping uh, with this current ICM setup. Although it is Heath. Yeah. Going to be opening super wide, so maybe if there was ever a time to trap with the Kings. 740. Chat, we know that we love Ben Heath. But get your K's in in the chat right now, as many as you can. Let's let's huh? let's uh, what's the word? Let's summon it. Let's summon the king. Get your K's in in the chat. I really saw some a uh, one king folded. Hearts working for your stad. For both kings folded. Okay. Although one chat here says one ace and one king left. Okay, get your 9, 10 Queen Jacks in the chat. <laughs> Essen coming with 740. Heath with a decision. Does he want to call and keep Essen's bluffs in? Or does he want to just rip it in right now? The crazy thing is, is like, does Jorstad ever have bluffs in this spot against the chip leader? Yeah. I mean, I guess. Small blind under the gun as well. 
Keith might just be thinking about that. 1.16. <laughs> Comes with a four bet not all in. This is 15 <laughs> bigs effective, and we're about to play a five bet <laughs> pot, ladies and gentlemen. Esper might just click it back. <laughs> Action back on the world champion, looking for his third bracelet inside four button. months. Bluff Party saying, how about a 9999 <laughs> ace board? I love it. <laughs> I think Esmond might have a feeling here. He might know. All in. Does announce all in and a snap call from Ben Heath. Tables the aces. <laughs> Heath absolutely annihilating this final table so far. And if he can hold here, he's going to have half the chips in play <laughs> with eight left. <laughs> Esmond needs a miracle. We can see the equities. He's got 2%. He needs hearts. Or he needs a 9 10 queen jack. Both kings have been folded. Esmond looks a little crestfallen. But there is a smidgen of hope for him. Come on, dealer. Give us a little something. Just a little backdoor something. 9 10. Trey. Queen or a jack to stay alive. Both Saying there's jack. a chance. Both kings have been folded. <laughs> a diamond? <laughs> diamond is yeah, 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 diamond. Six of hearts. Hesman is out. He doesn't realize it. He thinks there's a king left to come. <laughs> and we see Hesman Jordstad, the main event champion, <laughs> falling. You can free this one. I, I spent the night you tweet about that. I spent the rabbit hole five hours looking at some of those houses. It was They're sick, insane. right? I like the other one, the one with like the sick game room. She likes Max Pacioretty's old house, which is like beautiful, warm, feels like a Thanksgiving home. You know, it's like really cozy. The Hoti Player one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we saw his house. That's, we went there. That, she loves it. She wants uh, that house. Uh, he got traded, so. Arsenal you know, raising to 900,000 in the cutoff. So there's no way anyone's paying that. D with yeah, A3 off on 10. the button. I don't believe he'll do anything silly here. Good. Give him the same hand. I don't believe he'll do anything. Well, isn't the small blind, I guess? Decides to just let it go, though. Saying in the big blind. Doesn't hate it. Doesn't love it either. Gonna have a little think about this. These players relatively even in terms of stack size. Use this. <laughs> he throws time banks into the middle. <clears throat> Dealer didn't know what to do there. All in. All in. All right. All in call. Let's go. All in call. Carson, I'm gonna call. Henry, gonna let you call this one. Yeah, Paul Poir says run it. The the cutoff effective jam from Elis Parsonen. One of the greatest players to ever come out of Finland. Feared both online and live. Looking to hold here with the ace five against Triton head Huncho. Paul Poir, also known as Uncle Paul. No, no, I pulled an ace, actually. Paul looking for a king or a ten, and it does come king high. He's looking to win his first bracelet after taking home his first Triton trophy back in Madrid. The cherry on top of this already impressive year. Eight of hearts on the turn changes nothing. One card to come. Elis looking for a Barry. Barry Greenstein on the river. Needed to stay alive. No dice for diamonds. GG's all around for Elis. Handshake. Yeah, for sure. A few players at the table. And then there were seven. And then. King, Queen, four. 
Paul in the small blinds. Running out of time here. Decides to jam. And Heath with ace nine suited. Isn't gonna mess around here, doesn't even think about it. King Queen Ace Nine suited. Chat. Strap yourselves in. I mean, if Heath can hold here. This is for the tournament, Henry. Is indeed. Against the Triton boss, Paul Poir. Big, big, big pot if Paul Poir can find the double. He's up to 7 million, clear in second place. Heath still way out in first if he loses, but if he wins, he's got absolute chunks. Henry, over to you. Oh, Jack, Ooh, nine, Trey, yeah. Heath still with the best hand, although Paul Bois it's never has added <laughs> four outs. You can see in the top right-hand corners of your screens, nine outs twice for yeah. Paul and oh. just oh. has oh. Heath oh. dead oh. on the turn. Oh. And ladies oh. and gentlemen, oh. that really oh. changes oh. things here. Oh. Thanks oh. indeed. Overall, and Kim. I haven't seen the aces that often tonight. He's going to pick them up in the cutoff. And with seven left of a high roller, you look down at aces, your heart skips a beat. As you see, he comes in for the min. 400,000. No, it's not. It's 425. He's a jack 10 suited. These guys are not exactly shallow. I can't see how much you have. The clock. Four million. Four million? Yeah. Behind. He's all over that. Jack 10 suited. Kim's got about an average stack here. I really rate Sean Deeb, man. Yeah, just saying just a little more. Yeah, he just just loves it. And Heath has jammed oh, over the open yeah. of Kim. Jack 10 suited. And Heath is now five cards away from losing the chip lead. Switch short deck. Re jamming. The Jack-10 suited. Did not expect that. Pretty brutal to think that he was two cards away from having 60% of the chips in play with six left. Going to need some help from the deck on this one. Oh, nine, ten, six. It's never easy, Henry. Tournament poker, man, <laughs> just being summed up in a nutshell here in a couple of hands. Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds, dealer. Come on. Always makes you sweat. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Heath goes from five outs twice to nine outs once. Never. Queen Jack 10 8 needed for the young Brit to extend his chip lead. No <laughs> dice. Deucer clubs yeah. on the river, and now we have a new chip leader. It is that man right there? Him. All you can oh, eat, wow. baby. <laughs> Dean Eggs you don't have a food. says, All you can eat, baby. I got a pair of kings. The kings? No. Martini <laughs> makes the fold. Queen, king, ten. Okay. Uh, Let the best one. hand win. One time. Let the best hand win. We know Gets it is the best hand. Second best, Daniel does his song and dance. Here's your one time. Two weeks I didn't say one time, but the best hand today. You said one time. What time for the best hand to win today so far? I mean, he's not wrong. The worst hand is won every time apart from the from the kings of Espanyolstad. And the aces versus the jack 10 just adds. True. Not proven you wrong, proven Daniel wrong. That's true. My apologies. Juan looking for a queen. Daniel looking to hold here and drag himself up by the bootstraps. Ace, seven, deuce. Pretty safe looking flop, flop for Daniel. Can't turn him dead. No, I don't want a king, right? No, back turn. Oh, king. Gives, no, no, no king, king. Daniel Deuce. cannot turn his opponent dead. Deuce and seven, ace kicker. Oh, shit. I don't know what I'm asking for then. That's, good. that's a good one. Yeah, that's Six of clubs on the turn. Fung needs a queen and a queen only to knock out Daniel. Daniel looking for the double up to get himself up to just under eight big blinds. 780. Nine of diamonds on the river. That'll do it for Kid Poker. One hand, I play only the nuts. Says, I play only the nuts. It'll be indeed 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600. Some nosebleed. 
games running tomorrow and Thursday. Two million back. Thanks. Two million sixty thousand back. If you want it. All in. He I mean, does announce that. all in with yeah, the A6. The card and then I have to look at the other one. See what Dean okay, wakes up with. One. That's probably coming. Let's see what the other one is. Why is it always ugly? Oh, never mind. That's plenty. Plenty good against this man. He goes only with 946. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm all in. Dinex makes the call. <laughs> Cards on their backs. Oh, he has an ace. How do you get an ace? This ben Heath. Heath. Remember what we were saying about best hand? Let's, let's have the words hand win. Came <laughs> into <laughs> this final <laughs> table as chip leader. Yeah, have a good hand. That's shocked. Yeah. yeah. Been a bit up and that, down <laughs> if he can hold here. He would have shot. He would fully six off for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He will stop Daniel Negreanu okay. right in his tracks and winning bracelet number, number seven. Yeah. Where's the spiel about the best hand winning now? <laughs> That's what I, I reversed it. I reversed it. Like, well, let's forget all that. To the flop, ladies and, and gentlemen, and, and it's a king, king in the window. King, king. Trip kings for real. Daniel Negreanu. Well, it's not over yet. Hunting King's bracelet sport. number seven and in great shape to get the double here. And he's to fade the running Broadway of running clubs. And Ben Heath is dead on the turn. Would you believe chat is history about to be made here? In Super Mega Fish saying, I feel bad for Heath, such a humble guy. He really is one of the nicest guys in the game. Ben Heath, yeah, he will take it in his stride, I tell you that much. Such a class act. Just always takes it on the chin like an absolute champion. Oh yeah, he. I do, but, but no, no, it's too shallow. I don't like. Yeah. I do go opposite. Everybody limps shallow. I limp deep. Shallow. Wait, chat has Kim. <laughs> do everything backwards. Has Kim limped hijack with six three of spades. Is he trying to balance his uh, his hijack limping range? Aces and six three to throw in an absolute curveball. Okay, maybe he. Trap me in the small blind. <laughs> Heath gets out of the way of the King 10. I'm not sure, was this a misclick or? Good luck, everybody. Hope this doesn't screw you. I feel a little bad. <laughs> uh, so it sounds like it was a misclick. Negrano with the open ender. This is going to check through. Dusa clubs on the turn. See if Dinex comes with the turn probe. Does have plenty of equity, even against two pair. Any queen seven or club. I think he meant a race. Of course he did. No, he meant a yeah. misclick. Yeah. He right? thought it was 100,000 in blind. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, a six of clubs for Heath. Oh, King eight, four. Dinex, king, king, queen, flop, pretty much sealed the deal. Deep moving in with the ace, queen. Heath must be. I think I have enough chips to order food now. Struggling with that. <laughs> he is indeed, down to 5.6. Daniel with 5 points. Food. Jeez Louise. Well done, Dinex. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Wayne Huang has already had to put in five. 100k out of his 1.3 million chip stack. Just seeing now, we've got 6.9k viewers on YouTube across the two channels. How many have we got on Twitch? 5.5 right now. 2,000 on Twitch. How many do you say on YouTube? 6.9 over the two channels. And 9k in total as Wayne Huang calls it off for his tournament life. Things not going his way at all at this final table came in third in chips got sucked out on a couple of occasions oh a 
Ace 9 9 pretty much seals the deal for the Triton regular. Give us a sweat. King of Diamonds. 9 9 is a fun one, too. <laughs> Running cards needed for Wayne. Uh, wow. <laughs> Deeb did call in the 9-9. Nine nine. <laughs> Surely not. New York's finest. Nine of clubs would oh, be so it. sick. Yeah, it is Anyone live. Play? One time. Anyone fold the nine? Deeb asking. Five of diamonds on the river. Handshake between Wayne and Deeb. Fist bumps all round. Love to see it. Get some GGs in the chat for Wayne, who ornament variants. And just look at that. Look back at that one hand to go from having 65% of the chips in play with seven left. You now find yourself holding on for dear life. That big blind 250k. Morpheus says, you say Jack-9 UTG, but it's not really UTG, is it? Well, I yes, it is. Even if it's six-handed, if blue. he's first to act, he's and still under the gun. Tomatoes? All right, thank you. Is he an MP? Is he in the button? Is he in the big blind? No, he's UTG. Double A says, I love Leon. Just saw Leon in the flesh, laughing and joking, have a little chat with everyone. Oh, well, UTG is folded in this one, and oh my word. Aye, aye, aye. Kim has opened from the hijack. Heath with the button 3-bet, and we are about to see the cold 4-bet jam for 20 big blinds from six-time bracelet winner. And Daniel Negranu potentially going to have a huge chip lead here as he looks for bracelet number seven. <laughs> Benny says, great day. Really, really Feels tough spot for him. Daniel, he was patient, like you he no waited, he found the double, yeah, no. he found the chip-ups. Now, out of nowhere, he is in with a chance of scooping up an 11 million pot. Ben Heath will be left with fumes. What a spot for Daniel Negreanu here. Yeah, four times out of five, he is going to be the chip leader. He's going to have Heath down to two bigs. Bye -bye. Ace, 10, 8, rainbow, some backdoor opportunities for Heath. King of Spades on the turn, both players wanting the other to make a set. One card to come. If it is not a queen, we're going to have a new chip leader. Six of Spades rolls off. And Daniel Negreanu is now chip leader with six left in this bracelet event at King's Resort 25K Platinum High Roller. Talk about spin, Henry. He was down at 400,000 a few seconds ago. It was indeed. Well, well, well. What a horrific run for Ben Heath. Yeah, correct, correct. Chat, are we about to witness poker history? First, the short stack very well. He, he was patient. You know, a lot of people, myself included, and I get a bit too. Oh, he did a great giddy. spot here. I assume he's just going to call the 500k, leave 500, uh, 5k behind. Puts him in with a chance of winning the big blind ante next hand. Did you say call or I think I have more than the raise. Sorry, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay, okay. oh you don't even have 500. Okay, I think that means I'm sorry. D with a needle. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't a needle. That was 100% just confirming. Graphics might be slightly off. He thinks he has less than 500k. Five exactly. How much is it? Kim will play a hand in the big blind. He could be about to triple up here. And then some when you factor in the big blind ante and the small blind as well. This is a mega spot for Heath here. Get back up to <laughs> eight bigs. To go from two to bigs to eight bigs would be truly they incredible. I said they said we're allowed to do that. Ben can hold. He is the all-in player right, at risk. Usually they take him and put him in bed. Nine six deuce. Uh, so like far, so good football. for the young I think Brit. You can walk the stage, you're allowed to use it, correct? Are we allowed? Sorry, 760s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that too. <laughs> well, I, was like, <laughs> I thought, yeah. yeah. 
And well, nine of spades on the turn. I somehow bopped it from the commentary booth. Uh, let's try to emboss Paul Poir. Let's turn top, top. <laughs> Kim's going to fold. And Heath looking for a mamacita. They have been hot, Henry, but I fear this might be one step too far for Ben Heath. One card to come. Kind of chuckling to himself there as he sees the ace nine get tabled. Came in one of nine with a huge chip lead and things just not gone his way at this final table. King of Spades seals the deal. Then going to depart in sixth. Last of the five figure payouts each on Friday, final day I should say of the 50k. Deep ripping it in with a king four into Kim and Paul. And well, Paul Poir wakes up with sevens and he's going to click call, one would assume. And Deeb is going to be looking for a king. Makes the call, cards on their backs. Uh, come on, king. We're supposed to be neutral in the booth, but let's go, Sean Deeb. King dealer. King, king four, let's go. You know, I can't do that. You can't do what? I have to remain impartial, especially as Paul Poir is Thank my you. boss. So, <laughs> you know. Thank Sean Deeb's my boss now. Oh, there we go. 6.1 <laughs> in the middle. Gazzy rooting for Deeb. I'm just rooting for the poker fans and for poker in general, you know. Oh, oh, is he? Oh, <laughs> right. Club, club. We'll take club, club. We'll take club, club. Got stick a king out there, dealer. One time. Yeah, three of diamonds for a sweat. Do your job, dealer. Come on. Oh, oh <laughs> let's I, I, go. I'll still take it. It's only fair. King of really clubs really on the turn. KC and the Sunshine Band. <laughs> Deeb has found the three outer. Shawnee, Shawnee Deeb, Shawnee Deeb. No club dealer, come on. Sean Deeb finds the double, ladies and gentlemen. Sean Deeb picking up Anna Kornikova of the suited variety. Do you know why they call it Anna Kornikova? Come on, mate, it's human, mate. Because Ace King, her initials. Wait. Also, something about it looking good and never winning or something like that. Oh, oh boy. Here Watch we that. go. Shut yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Sub 20 effective. For the chip lead. Blind v blind. Deeb snap calls with the ace king. And it is a fair fight, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Deeb Shally boy. Gazi needs out of seat. To win a flip to become the chip leader. It will be three away yeah. <laughs> from bracelet no number six. No Big, big flip. This is for the chip lead, guys and girls. It is indeed edge of your seat stuff. Very close. Very close. Who's going to win, chat? Ace, king, or sevens? Big, big flip. Let's go, Shawnee boy. This is one where we just don't care who wins. You guys are dead even, right? Huh? You're oh, like I think dead you even. care. I think there's a difference. Ah, no, I think <laughs> 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 Love it. Oh, wow. Seven, six, five. Top set for Kim. Deeb running to, or drawing to running diamonds. Eight of diamonds, dealer. Come on. Why is he going to be down to blind and a half? Somehow picks up six chop outs on the turn. At this point. Oh. No dice, three of spades, handshake between Deeb and Kim, I believe Sean Deeb. But you've got to win your flips. Really great flop for the pocket sevens. Oh, that'll do it. Ace on the button. <laughs> with baritone. Oh, wow, Kim with a legit hand in the small king-queen suited. Kim looking to put the final nail. Yep. Deeb's coffee. That's ISO. King gone. This would be huge for Sean if he can win this. He's up to five bigs. Thank you, and you just never know from there. Needs to start off with a hold here, though. Let's go, Shawnee boy. Finish, I got to beat you in an all in, right? Does have the best hand. No need so nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want both arranging nicely. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just give him his 30 change, pull the 500, I win. To the flop. 
Jack, 8-7, so far so good for Deep. Can't turn him dead. Then no <laughs> Can't turn him dead, he's not <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Five <laughs> outs twice for Kim. Needs to fade a king and a queen to stay alive and more than double. Get back up to five big blinds. What a sweaty river this one is. Four hearts rolls off and Sean Deeb, ladies and gentlemen, is back up to 1.5 million. Yeah, it's not good for me, is it? Oi, oi. You never know. You never know. You never know. I kind of hope I lose this bet. Well, no, I mean, there's still 100 bigs in play. Let's go, Shawnee boy. Oh, he's got it in good here. Well, we'll see if Kim calls this off. And the Granu doesn't have a step worth noting as he's come with the min open. Kim wow. is ripped. Kim needs to be careful, pal. I mean, <laughs> just comes over the top. If Dnex wakes up with it, a couple of clubs folded. An ace folded as well. Sean Deep needs a little bit of help. I am sweating this, guys and girls. Huge, huge Sean D fan is your boy, Gazzy B. Let's go, let's let's go Shawnee boy, come on. Really nice spot because of all the dead money. If he can find the double here, if he can find the win here, he's up to three million. Come on, Sean. Absolute best case scenario for Sean here. Getting the rejam, flipping. Dead money. Yeah, Ace in the window. Yeah, Let's go. <laughs> Ace, queen, four. Couple of hearts. Six of hearts. The running hearts would work for Kim. Obviously, the running three, five would present him with the will. But now drawing to just two outs once. And deep. One card away from going from less than two big blinds to truly back in the mix with ten bigs. King of Hearts on the river and Sean D, ladies and gentlemen, will not back down as he hunts bracelet number six here. Sean D, hot on his heels. Still with work to do, though. Okay, even though I don't have my card on me, will be fine. Tell you what, one of the first things they teach in commentary school chat is to always remain impartial in the booth. And I think Gary was late for class. <laughs> Maybe just took the day off school. But no, obviously, all joking aside. Big fan of all of these five players have done so much for the game already in their own respective ways. Absolutely. I think uh, Sean Deeb is the main man to go on and challenge Phil Helmuth's 17 bracelets. Yeah, I've got a bet. Oh, you have? Yeah, yeah. What's the bet? Oh, hold that thought. Hold that thought, guys. A thousand percent in the eight game. Daniel, comes a call. Okay, Probably okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, actually, let me think about it. 2.3 in the middle. Oh, shoot, Ace in the window, oh, Ace 7 4. Couple of diamonds saying, well, with the Jack of Diamonds in hand, came with the 3.3x pre. Gonna continue for small. <laughs> don't really see Daniel doing much other than just call here. 3.5 in the middle, Pourquoi? Jack of Hearts on the turn, would you believe? He has turned a set of jacks and Daniel Negreanu in rough shape here at this stack to pot ratio. What a sick turn card. Henry celebrating that one like... Never I'm before. <laughs> not celebrating, pal. I'm just sickened at how tournament poker works. Check, check. On the turn. Five of hearts on the river. Backdoor hearts getting there. Daniel has the ace of hearts, though. So I think if we see a bet from Foix, Daniel might well have to pay this one off. Sick, sick turn. Running hearts. Especially with the Ace of Hearts in hand, the Granu likely to hero hit. 2.8. 2.8. Just hoping that Paul's turning a hand like King Queen, King Ten with the King of Hearts, Queen of Hearts into a bluff. Does make the call, cool chip lead pot. 
Seng up to 11 million in chips. Dean Eggs down to 15 bigs. Nothing he can do, blind v blind. That run out. As you see our new chip leader, Paul Foy, with ace king suited in the cutoff. Very playable hand, of course. 200k, 400k. Total. One million. Now less than a hundred bigs in play. <coughs> oh well. Deep says run it. Oh, he oh, says the ball you can fold. <laughs> Not with Ace King suited. Deeb going to need Never some that. help from the deck. Hand number 159. However, 50, 50. said help comes. Uh, be up to 4.5 million. Deeb calling it out, saying, You're going to flop two pair, I'm going to no, flop a straight. <laughs> well, how about <laughs> Deeb flops two pair? <laughs> And it's now Paul Poir needing to turn or river a straight. Ten would be the immediate out. Now ten and a ten only running clubs, not an option. 4.5 million chip pot. Deeb finds the hold. It's four across, but not the four across that Paul needed. A flesh wound. Tell you what, chat. What an it. And Paul Flat getting right back on the horse. Two very playable hands back to back. Kardashians in the hole for him. 20 big blinds in the chip lead. 800. Comes with the min this time. Granite gets out of the way. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a cruel game sometimes. It, it really is. is. This entire final table has just been so cruel. Ben Heath came in one of nine, out in seventh, I believe. Out in sixth, rather. Colin. Julian Martini announces himself, and Le Paul Bois just gets the click call with the Cowboys. Going to win this four out of five times, and he's going to have a huge chip lead four-handed if he can hold with the Kings at Kings Resort. One of the most accomplished French players, Julian Martini, How do you do looking <laughs> to find I went to play. Find shot there. <laughs> some diamonds or a jack. Wow. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> Queen, Jack, 10. Middle set for the Frenchman, but he's not out of dodge yet. Ace or a nine would give Paul a straight. King would give him a bigger set, and obviously running spades also working for him. Wow, Ace King nine, right? Turn. Flat could be down to two million. Six hit game. Really unfortunate for him, unless he can find a miracle river. Ace nine or King oh, needed nine ball corner pocket, and the Triton <laughs> boss man. Finally, win one. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Well, I, I follow him on Instagram, which is the same thing. <laughs> Everyone currently guaranteed 146,000 euros for their efforts. Shout out to Checkmoy TTV over on Twitch for the Twitch Prime. And for those of you that haven't subbed, I'm still sending you a lot of love for the company and the rogue chat, questionable banter, the needling. We need uh, everyone shouting at us to be quiet when the players are talking and whatnot, telling Gazzy to stop fanboying Sean Deeb. I get it, chat. I get it. We need uh, like a name for our like our commentary duo. Let's let the chat come up with one. Yeah, chat. I tell you what, I'll, I'll give away another hat. All right, two hats for whoever can come up with a nice name for the duo. Something like Gazzy and Bane, something like that. Something a little cheeky, a little charming. Whatever you guys can come up with. Gene Ryan, I don't find that remotely funny. I think it's so uncool. If Shondi was a woman, people wouldn't say anything like this. I think it's really unfair, really uncool. Hopefully you guys can be a bit nicer. Come on, guys, be cool. We're all friends here in the booth. Ever been to Norway? Never, never. I want to go one day. 
as we see Flat betting the jack high. Turning top pair, Kim, called with a gut shot, has now turned the world. Open-ended straight draw and the nine high flush draw. This guy's hat budget is through the roof. Tell me about it. <laughs> Hats for days. Tell you what, they're about 25 euros a pop, mate. You, you might be uh, in the hole a little bit. Love this lead from Kim, in my opinion. I'm not sure if this is solver approved, but like diamond rolling off kind of setting the price gonna have in my opinion more flush draws yeah. check core flop gonna limp with a, all of the suited diamonds queen three of diamonds king four big river coming seven of hearts just slides on in there for kim really nice pickup for him and with 3.3 million in there, not to be sniffed at. You have to figure, Henry, he might be able to eke out some value here. Maybe. With saying. Batman and Bane, I love that. 1.5. 1 1.5 comes with just under half. B45. And Paul Parr with a very disguised turn top pair in a tough spot here. Some of the natural semi bluffs, River Showdown, some of the 10 7s, 9 7s, 7 5s of the world, all River repair. Kim putting Paul Pine in a really tough spot here. Just the half pot bet on the River. See if Paul can get away from this. Yeah, great lay down. All things considered. Cool. He does make the call. Kim gonna table the straight and scoops a 6.3 million chip pot. Paul Pa and Kim have separated themselves intensely. The Jimmy Bowles, thank you very much for that one. Mm. Oh. Let's hope he can do it again. That isn't just a holding player, that's rubbish. You're absolutely right, original MCW. Little misstep there from us Mine. in the booth. As Negranu oh. shoves Deep calls and ladies and gents, yeah, we could be down point. to three. <laughs> it's the battle of the shorties here. All right, I'll get it ready for you. Okay. Well, deep with I the pre count. <laughs> Six. <laughs> not even half my stack. I'm not worried. Daniel Negranu all in at risk. Deep says, not even half my stack. I'm not worried. What a guy. Two Dude. legends of the game. True legends of the game. Oh. And an eight high flop for Dean Eggs. Five or <laughs> a couple of sweaty Seven turn cards. Seven, Seven, or Seven, Seven or a five. Give deep Ooh. more outs as the Seven of Spades finds its way to the turn. Yeah, that wasn't even as good as I thought it was. Still good. You get the five now. Five. Yeah, but five, five, there were so many better cards. Or king or deep. No dice as the Six of Hearts Ooh, pairs six the board. Down in Negranu doubles up to just over ten. Sean Deeb and to sub five. Take a few three. seconds we'll to click again. that like button on YouTube and that follow button on Twitch, both of which are completely free and both of which show that Henry and I are doing a good job and help us broadcast to a wider audience. As Daniel picks up sevens on the button now, I feel like this is going to be a jam for him with just above 10 All bigs. In. There it is. Deeb with a suited ace and five. I don't think he's going to be able to get away from this one. Doesn't want to. I think he's going to have to. Would much rather be the one doing the shoving himself, of course. Yeah, and it's very important to note that this is a 10 big blind effective jam. 
the Granu jamming into a player that has him covered. And this is what Deeb's posturing about here. Does eventually make the call. He's going to need to get lucky. As we see, a four oh, folded. Four. Along with a couple of diamonds. No help to Daniel there. Sean Deeb. Let me tell you, it's 1.995. Get ready. <laughs> Looking for the double. Love the attitude from these two players. In very good spirits. <laughs> no prepay. Needs an ace. And there she is. Well, well, well. In the window. Sean D with like a cat. He's got nine lives. This tournament could have been over with about an hour ago. Ben Heath just held with the best hand in oh, that huge card. spot yeah. like against Paul Poir. Deep no. now one card away exactly. from doubling nine and five. having Daniel down to five bigs. And he does find the hold. What a final table, ladies and gentlemen. Many, many more. All in Pav, wonderful MTT coach over there as well. You guys should check us out. Back into and this, Paul coming with the limp. Leave his arm just for whatever. Phoenix gonna knuckle his option in the big with the suit connectors. These two hands could collide. Yeah, so Bortex is not on that one. Phoenix flopping trips. A standard Andy move. Just got a smooth call here, giving Fulpoir as much rope as possible. Fulpoir waves the white flag. Daniel going to get to work here, trying to eke out some value. No value to be had versus the eight high of Fulpoir. Daniel with a nice pickup up to 12 big blinds. Very favorable structure. For these players. <clears throat> All in. Daniel ships it in. Deep with the King Eight. Gonna get out of the way, as will Kim in the small. See if Paul wakes up with anything. Wakes up with fours. May look this up here. Four. For ten big blinds four more. Four. Well, four, three, six, sixty, yeah. And it does yeah, make okay. the call, and would you believe Negranu is in great shape. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna win this. You better get there. You got two suits, though. Four out of five times. You rooting for me? <laughs> I think he's rooting for you. If Paul can <laughs> drill a two out or find some clubs <laughs> or spades, he's gonna have 20 <laughs> of the 30 <laughs> million in play. <laughs> five to come, chat. I'm like, I had him. Yeah. And now he's a monster. Oh, I'm like, looking for brace at number seven. Can he find the hold here? All 12 of them on my sack. Jack, four, deuce, Paul, flops, middle set. A six at game chat. Deuce of hearts on the turn does present a first draw, but unfortunately for d Paul has boated up. Premature handshake between the two. GG, GG. GG's all around as the ace of spades rolls off on the river and we lose six-time bracelet winner. And let's just name it. In with the mystery hand. Kim in the small blind. Not going to be able to call. Ace three suited. Oh, well, Paul Poir gets the click call with the sevens. And Deeb again getting it in behind. Can he do what he's done on many occasions? This final table needs spades or an ace to stay alive, otherwise we are going to be heads up. Two and over sevens with the worst end. Just now I lost sevens again. Yes. My kick four. <laughs> As we can hear somebody in the roulette table having a great old time. Oh, oh seven, wow. seven, six, five, right. flop. Give me a the Better than the ace king. Picks like up a gut shot <laughs> as well as backdoor <laughs> spades. Pull for a top set. Queen of Clubs on the turn deep, drawing to a four and a four only. Why is Paul Poir 
It's going to be up to 27 million with a huge chip lead for his first bracelet. Deuce of spades on the river. Handshakes all around love. The camaraderie and the sportsmanship being shown by... Know, I am giving away a World Series of Poker Europe hat to one of the new subscribers to my YouTube channel. Head on over to youtube.com slash gazzyb123. That's G-A-Z-Z-Y-B-123. Click that sub button and you could be in with a chance of winning a pretty snazzy WSOP hat. Thank you very much to everyone that supported the channel so far this evening. It's been a lot of fun calling the action with my main man, Henry. Don't know where he is, as we see Kim flopping the best of it right now. Foi with the gut shot, though. Gonna bet one big blind in this limp pot. Let's see what Kim decides to do. Gonna come with a raise. 1.3 million. Foi might be tempted to call here. Ping a six. Get the job done. Also has backdoor clubs working for him. Guys, thanks for the great commentary all day from you and Henry. It's been great fun. I've also took notes and learned a lot from watching. Bro, you're more than welcome. It's been a lot of fun. And I've actually learned a lot as well. You know, these guys are epic, epic tournament players. And uh, certainly going to apply a lot of what I've seen to my own game. You guys are more than welcome. 30-minute delay. This is live, but we're on a 30-minute delay to protect the integrity of the game. Paul Foy picking up outs, guys and girls. Got shot to go with his flush draw now. 4.1 million in there. Kim with 5.9 behind. Checks it on over to Foy. Little trappy trappy. Absolutely love this. Kyle M says, what a weird raise. He's got three of a kind. Lots of gut shots, lots of straight draws, lots of 7x. Lots of worse, 4x ranges extremely wide. And Fly is reaching here. How much is it? 2.5 million. Kim might just rip this in here. Indeed, he does. Three of a kind for Kim. And Foi getting an insanely good price. 3.4 million to call. The problem is, though, chat, he's just got five high. How much? spot this could well be the last hand of this tournament if Kim finds the double up here Flaz called it off and this could be it ladies and gentlemen flat looking for a six or a club Kim looking for a monumental hold this would bring the stacks up to almost even an absolutely huge pot coming To the river. You could cut the tension with a knife. Foi looking to get the job done. Kim looking for a huge double. Needs to fade a lot of outs. Ace of diamonds and Foi has lost that massive chip lead after only a couple of hands. Kim right back in the game now. A full double up for Kim. Blinds, 250k, 500k. 16 and a half, big blinds. He does just announce all in. And Paul in the big with an ace. Aye, aye, aye. May call this off here. What is it, 16? 
Yeah, I think this just goes in, chat. Yeah, heads up. Just getting a quick confirmation. I think he's just going to have to call this one off. Got an ace against an aggressive opponent. Can't say anything away from this one. I say getting away, he's got the best hand. For the bracelet, if he can just click call here and find the hold, Triton boss Paul Poir will win his first WSOP bracelet. He does make the call, Gazzy. This is Cards it. on That's their backs. What a chance. Get shown the King Nine. This is it to get back to even. Or the bracelet. The rail erupting on the sidelines. For the bracelet in the 25K Platinum High Roller. His star studded final table. Featuring some top tier players. We're down to the final two, Paul Poir and Kim. Kim, the all-in player at risk. <laughs> oh boy, Henry. It's, it's never easy, is it? It's never easy, Gary. <laughs> Look at the equities in this one. 877, two clubs. Kim would now win it with a king, nine, or a club. Diamonds on it's the turn picks up easy. even more. Is this a case of too many outs? 17 clean outs for Kim. Paul Poir, Triton boss looking to hold, one to come for his first bracelet. And hold he does. Barry on the river. Wow, wow, look at that reaction. Danny <laughs> Tangs and the Triton crew.